We tried to ban prop bets, but the players got around it. They made one gigantic prop bet, and they're going to talk about it all year. Food Network. So put this show on. I'll do it for two months. I'll do it for two months. Okay. Let me think about it. Check. Get back. Oh, yeah, whatever. What's the difference? It's like a check. All that money, you can't say who is. Why wouldn't you raise if you call 35? Huh? Oh, did you raise? Yeah. Oh, I had it all confused. I thought he raised. He left. Never mind. Okay, I'm paying attention. That's good. Check. Dan's got the best hand pair of kings. Lex has got the open end straight draw. <laughs> and of course, Tom Dwan's going to call with a pair of tens. Maybe putting Lex on a flush draw or a straight draw, what he has. It's a call. Dwan does not like Negrano calling there. Now he's figured out he needs a 10 or a 7. Doesn't get it there. Lex Check. misses his straight. Daniel still got the best hand. He checks. Lex checks. I tell you, when you lose some money, you start looking at every angle. It's weird. <laughs> I, I think looking. you would change. But Check. But that looks like a seven to me. Juan trying his best to make it look like he's bluffing, like he missed a hand. That's yours. 28-4 is a bet? <clears throat> nice size bet, 28-4. I think Daniel's going to call. It's going to be interesting to see his reaction when he sees that 10-7. Check. 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 He does have Lex behind him, though. No, he calls. Yeah, two pair. God, I had a feeling you made two pair with that card. Oh, brother. Didn't think you had a king. Lex might have picked up on it and raised to 3,500 with king deuce of spades. Dennis just called with ace king. Ivy's in. I really wonder if Lex's decision was influenced by Patrick trying to throw his hand away. Now Patrick calls. There's three other people in the pot. He's going to take a shot with Queen Six offsuit. Check. And will you look at that? Lex's determination is still intact. He's going to continue. 12,800. And here's the man that tried to throw his hand away. This is a very good performance by Patrick. He calls. I think everyone at the table is convinced he has a 10 and probably a weak 10. That would have made Dennis Phillips Broadway. And Lex is going to pretend to have Broadway now. And bet 31-3. Patrick does have to be afraid of ace-king or a full house. On the other hand... Lex would probably bet a hand like ace-jack here, thinking it's the best hand. He's just calling with the three queens. Dila, can you put a six there? But it's a five. Check, check. check, check. And Lex says, that wasn't supposed to happen. Queen five, I think. Mm -hmm. 
3,000. Yeah, you're making it 3,000 with the 3, 4 diamonds. Maybe you guys were five or six so players. And not so to be outdone, yeah, yeah. So Lex so makes it 11. Good. Six, eight of hearts. Everybody's happy. Well, I think we found a hand that Andrew's going to play. And probably raise yeah. with. That's John, do you want to... Andrew's is calling. I mean, what do you need? Daniel calls. Let's see if this play works for Andrew. No matter how hard you try, you try to like... Looks pretty good so far. Top set. Lex, who made it 11,000 before the flop. Lex bets 23.8. There are two clubs out there. Somebody might have a flush draw. Lex might have an overpair. I would think Andrew would raise here. Looks a little like Marlon Brando. He just calls. His instincts are right. Daniel drops out, and Lex has nothing. No club to scare Andrew. And now Lex is really drawing dead. Will Lex take another shot? Andrew's hoping so. Nope. Ace. Interesting card. If Andrew's tricky here, he can check, hope that Lex hit the ace, or maybe we'll try and represent an ace. He's tricky. Let's see if the trick works. Lex bites, 54. Lex has about 85,000 left. Andrew's probably thinking, if Lex has ace-king, is he going to call me if I raise that 85,000? He's not afraid of three aces. It'd be pretty unusual if Lex played the hand this way with three aces. But he is afraid of king-10. It would be conservative if he didn't raise here. He just calls. You have a set? Yeah. It's probably good. My son. Thank you. You too. Were you ever thinking about folding? <laughs> yeah, I was I was never thinking about folding. All right. Yeah. That'll be an let, me find, let me find one. Uh oh. Well, let me tell you the last hand he beat me. That's I love that. He got in the four and eight game on Poker Stars. I don't even know if you remember the hand. Maybe you will when I remind you. I don't know. Lex is going to try and make something happen here. Raised to 6,300 with Queen Nine offsuit. It's not going to hurt him if you're and talking to me. Yeah, and you're not that good like doing two things at once. I guess one to ask him. I don't think he likes the two hitchhikers he's picked up. Juan and Patrick. Daniel son. Lex is going to continue his story. Okay, I got to put the straddle on.
And one hitchhiker gets off in the next town, and I think one is going all the way. <laughs> Wherever you're going, he's going. I can't tell if Juan is trying to trap or he's being cautious. Unlikely that third diamond changed anything. Be quite possible for Lex to have a hand like King Queen, King Jack. I would think Juan's going to make a little value bet here. How much do you have? You're close to 70? Might be more than a little value bet. Really close um, to I'm net. There's Don't believe that. An animal we have not seen around these parts before. A cautious Tom Juan. I got a lot of respect at this table. Let me find, let me find one. Uh oh. But let me tell you the last hand he beat me. I love it. He got in the four and eight game on poker stars. I don't even know if you remember the hand. Maybe you will want to remind you. I don't know. Lex is going to try and make something happen here. Raised to 6,300 with Queen-9 offsuit. It's not going to hurt and him you're, if you're talking you, to me. Yeah, and you're not that good like doing two things at once. I guess from one to the astronaut. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he likes the two hitchhikers he's picked up. Juan and Patrick. Lex is going to continue his story. Okay, I got to put the straddle on. And one hitchhiker gets off in the next town, and I think one is going all the way. <laughs> Wherever you're going, he's going. I can't tell if Juan is trying to trap or he's being cautious. Unlikely that third diamond changed anything. Be quite possible for Lex to have a hand like King Queen, King Jack. I would think Juan's going to make a little value bet here. How much do you have? You're close to 70? Might be more than a little value bet. Really close um, to net. There's Don't believe that. An animal we have not seen around these parts before. A cautious Tom Juan. I got a lot of respect at this table. Yeah. Successful <laughs> bluff by Lex, pretending he's interested in Daniel's story. <laughs> Barry's going to step out here and raise to 5,500 with Queen-10 offsuit. Phil Ivey suspects something. Raises Barry. We have another air Ivy hand. Ivy suspects that Barry was out of line, and he's right. But it looks like Lex, who's got a decent hand, suspects that they're both out of line, and he's right. Look at them, they, they look like suspects. Nice play by Lex, 51-6. 51 6 total. How much more are you playing? I think Phil Ivey's 
posturing here. Asking Lex how much he has. 140 something? 130, 140 more? Doesn't want Barry to know he raised him with air. I'm all in. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Phil Ivey just went all in with a five deuce offsuit. I don't believe it. I thought you were just angry at Barry. I am. <laughs> that is one of the great bluffs nice in the history of high stakes poker. What a move. All these super good spots that keep coming up. Is this 50 good. each one? Yeah, it's like, it's just it's a really good spot though. Like. It's never a super good spot when you're against a superpower. Daniel steps out a little bit, 6,000. And again, Lex, 20,000 with an ace eight offsuit. That's Patrick when he gets, he probably has a figure. You don't know exactly. I think Daniel's seen enough of what Lex done in the last few hands. He's calling 14,000 instamatically. Yeah, it should be right. Just double checking. There you go. It's a lot of purple. Yeah. I don't really like the purple the cash too. yet. Well, then you don't have to win the pot. I might not. It's pretty impossible. I'll tell you what anyway. I'm going to do. I'm going to check in the dark because there's no flop I'm betting anyway. All right. Thanks, Helmut. <laughs> thanks, Helmut. That is amazing. Gin for Daniel. Uh, I'm done with it. <laughs> He's done with it. <laughs> Daniel flopped the nut straight. Lex has enough to keep him dancing. Bet 20. I want you to take it out. That's 20,000. Really? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, do I want purple change? Yes or no? Lex calls. It's like he really doesn't have the heart to be in this hand. I just wanted to tilt you, that's all. Work. Ship it. Really bad card for Lex. Only worst card would be an ace or an eight. Bet 50. I call. Go straight? No. I, I got a straight. Call. Oh, okay. Well, I don't. Well, on a scale with Seven. calling quads two pair being the worst kind of slow roll, oh. leaving out the dependent clause I have before you say the word straight Wait, give it. Oh, that's fine. is also a slow roll. I don't think Daniel meant it, but it was. And the non blingy guy, Daniel, with the two earrings, is in the straddle. Lex is first to act. Looks like he's got some plans for this hand also. He's going to make it 7,500 with a 6-7 suited. I think it's cool. Dennis, again with a pair. And again, just flat calls. Worked out from the last time. Now oh, that's live. Okay. Phil Ivey feels like playing. He's been dormant for a while. Andrew, Patrick are gone. And you can't give two diamonds to a non-blingy guy. Everybody misses. Dennis still has the best hand with his nines. Everybody checks, and Dennis does not take a shot. That jack scared him. Phil Ivey senses his opportunity. Twenty-six thousand. Thank God I looked again. Wow! I swear I thought I had this huge hand, like on board. <laughs> Lex has got an open end straight draw now. I'm all in. And he goes all in. All in, yeah. All in. Dennis lays down his nines. Phil yeah. Ivey, of course, is out. Very nice. Very nice. Things haven't gone exactly right for Lex's first appearance on High Stakes Poker, but he hasn't lost his heart. He's a very entertaining player to watch. I'm not going to be deep stacked anymore. 
I have extra chips if you want them. All right. <laughs> oh, this well, then actually just no matter what, like half a million is the max uh, buy-in, so you don't yeah. need Somebody's steaming. I'm sure they'd let us almost miss the last hour. <laughs> yeah. How We're much? Still pretty deep with 250. No, Eight thousand two hundred. I want to get Okay. Everybody folded around to Lex. Yeah, I play tournaments. I on the button, he made it 8200 with six seven offsuit. This is like one, right? And Phil Galfon, who was just given an unlimited line of credit by DIMF, the Dur International Money Fund, calls with Queen Ten offsuit. Three hundred. Oh, okay. I'm a little less than three. Me too, I think. That's a dirty. Yeah, that's why you look at me. You never, I never see a day like that for you. Nobody has a pair. Nobody has a spade. Lexus continued with 13-3. Phil Galfon with a very good read. Check raises to 39,000 and takes the pot. Oh, I just said I would have paid We'll just skip it over here and I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, we can change. <laughs> you have to throw him a I actually tell you the beginning of the show. For, uh, beginning of the show. Oh, he's, he's doing it. This is what these limits do. David Benjamin, who is playing kind of tight, calls 7,500 with a five deuce of clubs because he knows he can win a huge amount of money if he gets the right flop. Never had the opportunity. What? 500 more. God, you so. We're just going to take you higher and higher. We should have Sly and the Family Stone doing the announcing Every time I touch his, he gives five bucks when he's done play it. Three players to the flop. There's another one. Ellie that. still got the best hand. Lex, the original raises missed. And David's missed. But Lex is not going to miss a bet. David's out. Ellie's going to nice. call. Cash game player against the tournament player. Thanks. Thanks. He said thanks. <laughs> I heard it the first time. Yeah. He said nice the first time. Lex gets what he needs. Checks. If I check here, you're going to pay me off with ace high, right? That's how you like to do it. Boy, he, play, he, knows, he knows me so well. So Open really? book. That's not very good. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> Lex is probably putting Ellie on a four. As Doyle hums one of his favorite Civil War ditties, Lex bets 37,000. He thinks his nine is good. And he's making a play like he's trying to represent an ace he doesn't have. Pretty sizable bet. And the cash game player does not want to get pushed around by the tournament player. Take that, cash game specialist. I know my nine is good. I thought Eli was going to do it for a second there. Do what? Push it. Push it. It's pretty believable, too. What, if, if Ellie pushed it? Ellie's saying, how did I get that played by this tournament player with the orange suit? You can't have a seven. I could be wrong, but I just keep feeling that we're going higher and higher. Just me and you? Yeah, I think it was yep. Acer Queen. <laughs> just kidding. If there's some bets, I think it was Acer Queen. I'll have one of these hands. <laughs> if you think you made a good laydown, I'll call for 10%. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, 10% pot size. 9,000 more? I just want to find out what you, you had. Well, just a little gift for you, son. Yeah, I want to find you, out sir. too, man. You give him $5,000, i am sure I'll tell you. That's and he'll swear too. 5000 will yeah. work. No, I just want to... <laughs> 5000 what? 
Five work. Thousand would work. I just want to call, but like one ten. Five thousand would work. Lex swapped a pair of deuces. Like I want to call for eleven. Dole says, "Hey, I'm still stuck. Seventeen. My winning streak's on the line. Let me pick up this little pot here." Obviously, I don't want to do it if Ellie says. You can. And Lex says, <laughs> "Maybe he's trying to pick up this little pot here." Against anyone, anyone that offers. You want to call it? I got ducks. I don't want to. I was saying that. Well, I wouldn't say call it me. Let me call and see what happens. You could obviously call against me because I would have called. Oh, I still could. Pick up anything after that. You can. can wow, two four two comes out there. You bet two, two, three, four, six. You bet fifty-five hundred, and there's seventy-five hundred in the pot. Okay. I call. Okay. Books. Books. Doyle is not giving up. Sixty thousand. Oh, He's on. representing a five. Send something for pocket, you hear. <laughs> Phil, you offer and Lex you doesn't look like he's that. going for it. No, I want to. I lose 5, I mean, I it looks like that. Lex is seriously thinking about that. calling with oh, a wow. pair of deuces. King two. Yeah, that means like there it is. He calls. What, what a call. Hit the chips nine and the king, and then find the heart of four. Wow. I don't think I would. He called with the ducks. Do a bit 60 on the river. Don't bluff the guy in red. Okay. David, don't bluff the guy in red. I don't know if you saw that hand, but don't, don't try to bluff that guy.